Hi everyone, I'm so glad you're here to hang out and talk about neat interior design topics. In this video, we're going to be talking about lighting and focusing on indirect and direct lighting. So we're going to be talking about an overview of what the differences are between those two types of lighting and then how we use those in our homes. So if that topic sounds interesting to you, I'd love to have you hang out. And I want to thank everyone for subscribing to my channel and liking my videos and providing really wonderful comments. I really appreciate it. So let's get started. So the first type of lighting we're going to take a look at is indirect lighting. And indirect lighting, I usually think of as overall or general lighting. It's the lighting in a room that lights up everything so we can see everything. And it's just this overall lighting to a room. And many times indirect lighting is all about reflecting light off of surfaces, whether it's off the ceiling or off of a wall. And it's not directed towards anything specific but it's this overall general lighting and light that we get, you know, because it's being reflected off of different surfaces. So a really good example of a light fixture, a lamp that kind of provides indirect lighting is a torchair. So in this example, this torchair, this floor lamp has a light shade, has a shade, that is like a bowl and all of the light is shining up towards the ceiling and of course some of it gets onto the wall but all of that light is just reflected off the wall reflected off the ceiling to give us an overall glow and you know this light fixture in particular also has a lampshade that has like a frosted glass so it glows and adds more light and even has some light filtering down you know through the bottom area so that's an example of you know indirect lighting where it's not pointing specifically at a specific very focused area but it's just providing this overall nice ambient lighting to the room another example of an indirect lighting type of light fixture would be something that's surface mounted. So something that is in the ceiling is just on the surface of the ceiling. And, you know, like in this example, maybe it has like a frosted glass cover and the same thing is happening. There's some light that's coming out of the around the shade and it's just bouncing off the ceiling and it's reflecting off the ceiling and providing this overall you know light to the room and right the shade is you know kind of a frosted glass so that's providing a nice glow and you know adding more light to the room and then another example of lighting that we may see in a home is cove lighting or say under cabinet lighting and both of those have a similar purpose they provide kind of this nice glow and it's reflected off of surfaces and just provides some nice overall lighting to a specific area so right in this example it could be you know little tiny lights behind this a mirror and just the glow from those lights provides some overall lighting to that countertop area and then even in a kitchen if you were to have under cabinet lighting so lighting under your cabinet and if especially if it's on like a little string of lights this is going to provide just some overall glow and lighting you know to the counter area and of course adding to the overall lighting of the kitchen and then in this bathroom the light fixture in there is providing this nice indirect lighting you know the light is being reflected off the walls and off the ceiling and back down to the counter and just provides this nice overall lighting to the room and then you know another example that we can think of 
as indirect lighting would be like a table lamp. And actually a table lamp provides both direct lighting and indirect lighting. But in an indirect way, you know, that table lamp it has light coming out from the top, light coming out from the bottom. And then because the nature of that light shade, you know, it's maybe this fabric light shade, you know, there's this glow and, you know, overall that would provide, you know, kind of an overall um, indirect way of lighting up the room. And then the other type of lighting that we're talking about in this video is direct lighting. And we can even use that word direct to kind of describe direct lighting because what it is is the light fixture and the shade and possibly even the light bulb itself is directing that light on a certain area and it's really focusing that light beam. So, you know, a good example of that would be a task lamp or like a desk lamp that you'd have on a table or a desk where you need to focus in on something and to be able to read something or, you know, do some artwork or do some sewing, something that's very task oriented where, you know, it's a specific task to really make sure you can see what you're looking at. And then another example of that, you know, would be a floor lamp that would, you know, kind of do the same job where, you know, that light shade is focusing that light beam just on a specific area. And then we can also think about pendant lights. So, you know, whether it's a pendant light over a dining room table or a set of them or a set, say, over a bar area or an island. And those pendant lights, just by the nature of their shades, you know, and how they're created, the light just comes out of one end and just shines right down onto a surface, onto uh, the counter or onto a table. And it's very focused and um, just helps you to see certain areas. And another example of direct lighting we could think about is um, the lighting that we have in our ceilings, like recess lighting or even track lighting. So like recess lights, those are, you know, usually placed in a group in the ceiling and they're just basically just shining straight down into the room. And, you know, by the time they kind of, you know, go farther away from the light source itself, it starts to um, spread out. So it can add, you know, kind of an overall lighting effect to a room. But also you can um, direct that light onto the wall or, you know, onto a wall with artwork, you know, so we can see the artwork better. It's very focused in on, you know, having that artwork show up, or maybe it's just even just lighting up the wall. So it just adds, you know, more lighting to the room just through, you know, reflection and track lighting, same thing. It's a very focused beam of light that can be pointed at whatever it is you want to focus on. So it helps to have that show up better. And then we can go back to our table lamp. And we talked about how in some ways it can be indirect lighting where it just adds this nice glow and light to the room. But it's also, you know, very direct, you know, there's light coming out the top, but the light that's coming out from the bottom of the shade is shining right down on the table. So if we were close enough, we could uh, read a book or something under that light or look at our phone under the light. So it would still provide, you know, a very focused task kind of oriented light for that table and for us to be able to see something really well. And then keep in mind that we use both indirect and direct lighting in our homes. And it may depend on the room and, of course, what the goals are for that room. You know, maybe it's a living room where you have a combination. You have, you know, some overall lighting so that you can sit and watch TV or maybe um, more task light so that you could read a book. So it really depends on the room and what your goals are with that room. So let's take a look at some examples of rooms in our homes 
and to see kind of different types of lighting in play. So in this kitchen, we can see that there's actually a couple different lighting applications going on. One of them is there is recessed lighting in the ceiling. And so that lighting is very direct. It's just shining straight down onto the floor and they have a group of them. So, you know, that way, you know, when they shine down and they have a spread, there's, you know, they're spreading that light around. It kind of overlaps and helps to light up the room with an overall lighting effect. And also, you know, it's reflected off of all these different services in the room. And especially since they have, you know, a white ceiling and white walls, that's going to help even more for that light to be reflected to really help light up the room. And then they have some cool um, pendant lights hanging over the dining area. And, you know, there's probably some direct light, you know, coming out of those underneath those light lampshades um, to kind of direct some light right there on the table surface. And I think at the same time, too, it looks like those light fixtures kind of glow. And so, it, you know, it's kind of helping to light up the table surface, but it's also, you know, being reflected and glowing so that it helps in, you know, creating some overall lighting effects as well. And then we can see under cabinet lighting, you know, underneath those cabinets so that the work surface, the counter has plenty of light. So, you know, when you're over there preparing a meal, you can see what you're doing and um, that's helping to give an overall lighting effect, indirect lighting effect for that work surface area. And then let's take a look at this living room. So let's start at the ceiling. So in the ceiling, they have some recessed light fixtures. And it seems like to me too, that maybe those are adjustable. So they can, you know, have them kind of directed towards, you know, a certain part of a wall or up towards the ceiling. And so, you know, those are examples of direct type of lighting, but they're adding to, you know, the overall lighting of the room. And I would imagine there are, you know, uh, maybe three more of those. They're, they're placed, you know, in the room so that they can provide some overall ambient lighting to the room. And then lower, they have a table lamp. So, you know, there's a little bit, maybe a little bit of light coming out at the top, possibly, but most of the light's coming out at the bottom. And that's very direct, you know, it's shining directly down onto the table, a little bit on the sofa and onto the floor. And the nature of that fabric shade helps some light to kind of glow through, you know, the shade a little bit. So that's adding, you know, some direct light onto the table, but also, you know, adding to the overall lighting of the room. And then in the dining room, you can see that they have this kind of pendant style chandelier above their dining room table. And it's a lampshade, which is kind of cool design. And you can see, you know, that it's open at the top. So there's some light that is thrown up onto the ceiling. And, you know, that's reflecting out into the room a little bit just by, you know, being uh, directed towards the top of the ceiling. And then the rest of it is, you know, directed over the tabletop. And so, you know, directing some light down there and providing some overall lighting to that space. And then they have like this cool, um, kind of decorative table, not table, but floor, floor light fixture on the floor. And I bet it's made out of maybe rice paper or something kind of cool. And, you know, that adds more lighting to the room. That's indirect lighting um, because, right, it's not focused in on a certain area. It's just kind of adding glow and light and providing some light just nearby. So to help, you know, light up that corner, which is kind of cool. And then in this bathroom, they have these nice light fixtures at the mirror. 
and it's almost like a lamp in that you know they have openings at the top and the bottom of those shades plus those shades they may be fabric or like a frosted glass and so you know they're providing kind of this overall glow they're also you know shining light up into the ceiling and also down onto the um, counter surface and all that light is being reflected everywhere to help light up the room. There may be some other lighting in the room, you know, maybe some recess lighting or like a surface light fixture. But with these lamps at the sink, that's, you know, providing both, you know, decoration and beautiful uh, style to the bathroom, but also it's helping to light up everything. And then in this bedroom, we can see that this room has a variety of different lighting going on. First of all, it has one of those surface mounted light fixtures that we talked about that provide indirect lighting. So the light from that light fixture is, you know, bouncing off the ceiling and bouncing off the walls. And then the glow from the shade, I think it's probably like a frosted glass shade. And all of that light is just kind of getting reflected off of the walls and especially off of the ceiling, you know, to provide this nice uh, glow, you know, light to the room. And then they also have recessed light fixtures, you know, um, centered throughout the room. And those are providing more direct light. You know, that light is shining down into the room but you know by the time it kind of gets in the room and they are um, situated throughout the room to kind of provide an overall lighting to the room and then they also have um, table lamps so at night you know they'll be able to read a book or look at their computer just by turning on those table lamps that provide a little bit of direct lighting, but also they contribute to indirect lighting and just provide, you know, um, help with, you know, the overall lighting in the room. So I hope you enjoyed this video all about indirect and direct lighting. And I encourage you just to take a moment in your day and even in just one room and kind of check out what type of lighting you have in that room and you know what type of function it's providing. Like, is it just helping you just to light up the room so you can see everything easily? Or do you also have maybe a task lamp so that you can read a book? So just have some fun um, taking note of that and um, share your insights in the comments. So I hope you're doing well and I look forward to seeing you next time and take care. <music>